Well, check out the warm welcome home for the U.S. women's hockey team as they arrived in Tampa, Florida. There are eight women on that team that played or are currently playing for the University of Minnesota. The team trains in Wesley Chapel, which is just outside of Tampa. Gold medalists, as you can see, seem to be very happy for the warm reception they received. Fans are going to honor them during the first intermission tonight when the Tampa Bay Lightning hosts the Buffalo Sabres at the Amelie Arena. How fun. Congratulations. Yeah, that's great. Uh, meanwhile, Minnesota's cross country hometown hero shared her story on CBS this morning. Yeah, Afton's Jesse Diggins joined her sprint teammate, Keegan Randall, and they won the first ever gold for the U.S. in that event. It was intimidating for sure going into that sprint out knowing, okay, uh, here's the girl who won world championships last year, and the Swedish girl won the Olympic gold in the sprint event yeah. earlier that week. So, you know, you're going up against some serious heavy hitters, but. Um, I really believe in our team and our chances and we just, I mean, you know when your body feels invincible when you're in the best shape of your life and you just have to go for it. Okay, she is not only talented but awfully cute. Yes, yeah, easy Dig to like. <laughs> yeah, Diggins skied for Stillwater High School and still has a strong connection to the Nordic ski team there. She will train at Lake Elmo Park Reserve when she's in town. The city of Afton tells us that it's planning a big welcome home celebration when she finally returns. Yeah, that should be great. And we mentioned before, uh, Keegan Randall, the only mom on the entire U.S. Olympic Which team. Which is quite a feat. Yeah, yeah. that's so impressive. Congratulations right? to both of them. That's cool.